Hello YouTubers, welcome to Fat Food Reviews. Hope all your friends and family are all safe and well when you're all having a cracking day. We've been to Asda's again today shopping. We've got the Asda's Just Essential four battered white fish fillets. So uh, we're going to have a bit of fish and chips tonight. So let's go down to the worktop and see what's in the box. So as just previously mentioned, we've got the Asda's Just Essential four battered white fish fillets so let's look at the uh, nutritional content so each oven baked fillet contains 244 calories 9.9 .9 grams of fat 0.9 grams of saturates 0.7 grams of sugar and 0.66 grams of salt go around the box see what else is on there so we've got the recyclable content which is just the box and um, we've got the nutritional content now, if you're interested in that. We've got the cooking instructions, which are from Frozen, 220C, 425F, fan 200C or gas mark 7 for 23 minutes. Removal packaging, place on a preheated baking tray, cook in the centre of, of the preheated oven. Check the product is piping hot before serving, do not reheat. Uh, let's go and look at the the ingredients so they're obviously not made out of cod they're made out of pollock which is a 53 percent um, and we've got the allergens in bold which is fish wheat and wheat um, no artificial colors flavors or hydrated fat right so take them out of the box and have a look what they actually look like in person So, not a bad size, not the biggest, but not the smallest. Batter looks like a um, flour batter. Not that much bubble to the uh, batter, but it is what it is. Right, so we're gonna put these in the oven now and I'll be back with you shortly for a taste test. So I've just laid them out in the baking tray. They're all ready to go in the oven. Um, I'm just gonna mention this. I just bought myself a new air fryer. I did have the TFAO Active Fire before, the one that um, it circles the food, but that's uh, sadly gone to heaven. So we just bought this yesterday, and it's, uh, it was forty nine ninety nine from B and M stores. So I'm going to cook my chips in that tonight and see how they come out. So the fish has just come out of the oven. Excuse the fingers. Yeah. Put a few chips for that. Not too bad at air fryer. Right, I'm gonna uh, stick some salt and vinegar on it to give it the best possible chance. Do another touch of vinegar. Get salt. That's my cat scratching. Would do it when I'm filming a video, wouldn't you? So I'm going to um, cut one of these fish fillets open. So this is pollock. So you can see there's a few flaky bits. It's not completely mushed up. So I'm going to go up to the other camera and give it a taste test. Right, so we've got the um, battered fish from the Just Essentials. I'm gonna dip it in a bit of salt and vinegar and give it a go. Right, the fish in itself isn't actually bad inside. The thing that lets it down is the batter. The batter's, excuse me. The batter's very bland. Even with me sticking salt and pepper all over it, um, salt and vinegar, sorry. It's, um, it's got not, not hardly no flavor to the batter.
but the fish is tasty inside. I've never had pollock before. I'm a normal cod or a haddock man. Um, so that's the first time me eating pollock and you know, it's a neutral style white fish like cod or haddock. It's quite nice. Um, the price of the product was £2.35. That's your fourth, or was it £2.35 or £2.65? Excuse me, one of the two, I can't remember now. For four fillets. So that's what, about 60 odd pence each, if my maths are right. Um, it could be better if they just had a bit more seasoning into the batter. It's just a bit bland. Um, I would eat it, you know, I'm a sort of person who has fish, you know, I put loads of salt and vinegar on it, or a and tomato sauce or whatever. It would be all right, and for the price point, um, I don't think you can go too wrong with it, to be honest. Like I say, it's not the best frozen um, or supermarket battered fish I've ever had, not by a long shot, but it's not terrible. Um, for the price point, like I said, you know, give it a try. You know, if it's for you, if it's not, it's not sort of thing. But um, it, it's not, it's not terrible. You know, it, it's edible, let's say. Um, ratings out of ten, I'd give it a seven out of ten. Um, would I buy it again? No, if. I had all the money in the world, uh, I wouldn't, I'd choose the more expensive brand, but if I was on a budget, would I buy it? Yes, I would. The portion size is quite a sizable size to it. Um, like I say, the, the amount of fish content in it is fairly good. It's not all bread. So, you know, you're getting a bit of, <laughs> take the batter off and you're getting a bit of health food. It's just a fish on its own. Um, with a bit of chips, try air fried chips, they cook really nice. That's the first time I'm using that new air fryer. Um, it's a, a level thumbs for me from this one. Like I say, it's, it's, it's not you know, it's not the world's worst, but I've had a lot better put it that way. So, um, thanks for taking the time watching the video. I would really appreciate it if you can uh, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're a small channel, but we're growing steadily. Um, I tr try and do my best on these reviews. I'm no, not the most articulate person in the world, but I try my best. Uh, we've got Halloween coming up next Monday, so I'm going to look around the supermarket, see if we can buy any food and do a little Halloween special, let's say. If anybody's got any suggestions or seen any Halloween stuff in the uh, major supermarkets give us a shout out, in the comments and uh, let us know what there is um so uh thanks a lot take care bye bye to the next video cheers bye